It's war time. It's war time. Gather the troops, yeah. It's war time. The Most High is gonna have mercy on you, Black Native Americans, if you return back to Him. It's war time. We are gods on this earth. We are God chosen people. The Black, yeah. It's war time. Calling all Jews. What in your veins? It's the same that was in Christ's veins. You say that don't matter. It's our job as the watchmen to warn our people. Wake up from the lies that you're in. We must return as the Israelites because that's who we are. You are now tuned in to Wartime Radio Show. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. Hey, this is WPJM 800 AM. This is Wartime Radio. My name is Officer Yawanathan, and on my left, Officer Kalaya. And on my right, Officer Gedaliah. And our reader today, Officer Yawanathan Kasak. Hey, today's title of our show is No Justice, We Sleep. No Justice, We Sleep. The reason why we're saying we're asleep, because we don't understand that there is a war on the black man. But you can't tell them that, though. They say we woke. Yeah, yeah we woke. We woke up into a nightmare. That's the only thing we woke up to. It was a nightmare. A this continuing week, nightmare. Right. Said. This week we had a a tragic event where a six year old boy was shot in Michigan by his neighbor. Not by the police, but by his neighbor. Someone that lived right beside him. A six year old boy out riding his tricycle. Not a motorbike, not carrying a gun but riding a tricycle playing with other kids. And we want to just get right into this story because this right here is time for our people to wake up and realize that, hey, these heathens are not your friend. Go ahead and roll that. Shot a little boy. He walks free, making bond on Tuesday. It has this family angry and confused. And I'm trying to figure out how he got a bond that was so low for trying to kill my kid. Arnold Daniel trying to figure out why Ryan Lee Wen is out of jail after allegedly shooting his son, Kobe. He tried hit me with a sledgehammer, but that's not going to work because I'm too fast. So then what did he do? Got a gun. Boom. Shot me right here. It's all on video Saturday afternoon on Candlewood Lane. You'll see kids playing, hear a gunshot, then Kobe realizes he's hit. Lee Wen allegedly fired through his front window. The bullet went in Kobe's arm and out the other side. Wow. You know, if it wasn't for technology, this would be another black child shot. Another heathen getting away with a crime. Right. Not, well, nobody one. knowing nothing about it. We know nothing about it. Not right. a clue. Right. Hey, in the video, the father said something. Hey, we're going to play that back right quick, and we're going to stop it at 16 seconds. Shot a little boy. He walks free, making bond on Tuesday. It has this family angry and confused. And I'm trying to figure out how he got a bond that was so low for trying to kill my kid. He said he trying to figure out why his bond was so low. Hey, hey, hey he said confused. Right. He's like, he's the one that's confused. Yeah. Our people actually think they get the same rights as these other nations. Because, you know, when we commit a crime, guess what? We gonna go, uh, uh, we're going to suffer for that. We're going to sit in that jail. They're going to set our bail about, what, a million? Imagine if we shot a little white child. Oh, you had a million dollar bill, no doubt. No doubt. And it's a reason why we don't get out. It's a reason why we don't get no justice. Hey, give me Lamentations 4 and 17 right quick. There's a reason why. We got we to gotta wake up. It's high time we get up out of our sleep. The Matter of fact, before you give me that, Romans 13 and 11. Give me that one. Because, you know, it's just another black man that's clueless about what's going on in the earth when he got to wonder why this man got out of jail. 
It's the book of Romans, chapter 13, verse 11. And that, knowing the time, uh -huh. that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. He said, now is the high time that we wake out of our sleep. That's what we're trying to do right now. We're trying to wake our people up. This was wartime radio is all about. It's letting our people know that it is a war against them. And we bring this show every single week to give you information that you can awaken to the truth of who you are and why we're in these conditions and why the things are going on in this earth. Go back to the video. Arnold Daniel trying to figure out why Ryan Lee Wen is out of jail after allegedly shooting his son, Kobe. Stop. Right okay. He said, Ryan Lee Wen. If you didn't know, Ryan Lee Wen is what? A Moabite? Is a Moabite according to the Bible. Yes, which would be, you know, a so-called Chinese man. That's why he's free. That's why his bail was only $1,000. Mm -hmm. Initially. Initially, $1,000. Initially. Right. That's an insult. That's an insult to the black community. Right. You get you ride through your own neighborhood. Your house could be right down the street, and you got a tail light out, and you're going to get a ticket for $1,000. Right. I mean, think about it. Michael Vick did time for killing the dog. Hey, you kill a black child and he live, hey, you just pay a little thousand dollar fine, you'd be all right. Because I guarantee he won't do no time. No. Nah. He ain't gonna do nah. no time. They they didn't even want to hold him. No, nah, the 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 county the the magistrate court that set the bail initially, they've raised it to a hundred K now. They they are saying that it's a uh I got it right here. It says that the uh it's a prosecutional uh process and judicial decision. You know, what I mean, the only reason that they raised the bond is because the community was screaming out what this brother is is screaming on, on here on this video. Why? How does he get a bail of only a thousand dollars? You understand? So, hey, but listen, but now you're talking about they adjusted the bail. Yeah, they adjusted. They adjusted it to one k. But wait a minute, wait a minute. You to a hundred k. You shoot. A, you sorry. shoot at somebody robbing your house, and they're on their way out the door. You going to jail, right? You going to do and you going to do some doggone time. And this 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 guy, he shoots out of his window, no threat whatsoever. A straight coward move. <laughs> no threat whatsoever. The kid. I mean, it's a little. Come on, who does this? This is a six year old child, and you go shoot outside your window at a six year old child. You got to be does kidding that? me. Hey, imagine how big a coward you have to be to shoot through the window. At a little child picking up his tricycle. I mean, that, that's that's a coward. That's how much they fear you, or that's how much they hate your guts. And we got to realize that they actually hate our guts. Right. And we sitting here trying to love our oppressors. We're trying to live the American dream. I mean, we're we're hoping that the justice system would give us justice. Right. We've been marching up and down these streets year in and year out. Hey, what? From the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, 2020, we still marching. Right. Begging for justice. Right. And I know I know you were about to pull a script. Before you pull the next script, I'm going to read something to you. This is the update. It says, Lee Nugent was charged with assault with intent to murder, assault with intent to do bodily harm, and two firearms. But real, real quick now, there's a, there's a charge that's missing. It's called shooting in a dwelling. When you shoot inside of your house, that's a shooting in a dwelling. He's not charged with that. It says in Michigan, assault with intent to murder carries a lesser sentence than attempted murder. And prosecutors chose the one with the most significant penalties, said Savit or Savit said. But they're not gonna they're not gonna uh, uphold these charges when they go when he goes to court. Well, they're not the, gonna do that. Well, the, what the district attorney did was he just he gave him the lesser charge. Yeah. I mean, because this is a heinous as far as I'm concerned. You're going to shoot out your window at a six-year-old boy. I mean, even somebody that just robbed your house, you can't shoot them once they get outside the door or you're going to jail. And so this guy shoots through his window at a six-year-old child, and he's going to get the lesser charge? Yep. And that's not guaranteed he's going to get convicted of it now. Right, right. He's getting convicted. Hey, give me your uh, limitation for 17. It's the book of Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 17. As for us, our eyes as yet failed for our vain help. For our what? Our vain help. Uh huh. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. America is what? 
A nation that could not save us. The so-called white man is what? A nation that could not save us. These are people that cannot save you, not help you, do not like you. They do not love you. They do not care about you. And it's high time that we wake up out of our sleep and realize that fact. You know, for the time that we came over here on slave ships, up until today, 2021, we've forgotten that we came here under servitude. And the things that have been set in place have not been to help us, even though it, our people think it's help. But I'm gonna get, let's get Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48, real quick. The precept with Lamentations 4, 17 that you just read, because we say, yeah, most people that have been listening to the war, listening to wartime radio understand that we are standing up for our people and that there is a war against our people. But what we must understand is this war is not just coming from the people that we uh, that we blatantly see as our oppressor, which is the so-called white man. Now, all these other nations are our oppressors, too, and they've had us in many different captivities before the so-called white man. All right, let's read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore shalt... Thou serve thine enemies. The God said you're going to serve your friends. This is this is the children of Israel, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. When we broke the commandments of God, these curses fell upon us. Read that again. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. Come on. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, uh-huh. which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. So this happened when we came here into this land on slavery. But we must understand that this has happened to us prior to coming to this land on slavery as well. All of these nations have had us in captivity. But read the next verse. Verse 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth. As swift as the eagle flyeth. That's the bird of this country, the bird of all the other countries that's had us in captivity. Read. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. All right, verse 50. A nation of fierce countenance. A nation of what? Of fierce countenance. Read on. Which shall not regard the person of the old. Which they ain't going to care nothing about the, the, old, the old men or women. Nor show favor to the young. They're not going to show favor to our young six-year-olds either. We're, we're still living under the curses of this Bible. And we have to realize that in order for us to come out of this condition... We must do the one thing that we have not tried doing, which is come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of God under his son, Jesus the Christ. Hey, one thing that you said was this right here, our enemies. And if we don't identify our enemies, guess what? You ain't going to know where, where your trouble is at. You ain't going to know what to stay from. Because think about this. This was a child. And if we'd have been raising our child correctly according to the laws of God, he would have knew who his enemy was. And you know what? He could have avoided this. Hey, give me Psalms 82. 83 start at verse 2. Let me hit something before you hit that one. Now, we're, to, we're, we're, you know, we're talking about Esau, and all these things, these scriptures that are coming out about Esau is true. But we're talking about an Asian. We're talking about a Moabite. Didn't they just come out with a crime, an anti-Asian crime right, bill? Right, right. They've got the protection. They got the protection from Esau. Hey, and it didn't take them 400 years. Didn't take it didn't take him at all. Right. B- oh, doggone. What's it, what do they call him? Uh, Biden. Biden. What do they call it? They call him. Uh, Biden said the black man got him elected, and the first thing he did was do something for the Asians. Jim Crow right. Biden, right? <laughs> Jim Crow Biden, right? Right off the bat, his new administration, the first, what they call it when they do stuff, the first, the first act, one, act in Congress, or first, first 100 act. days. Yeah. And Whatever that is. That gets passed through just like that. Right. Right, and we still waiting for some crumbs. Mm. We ain't gonna get it. No. What, you look, what verse you was bringing out? No, you. I, was, I, was, okay. I just want to stop you before you went there. Hey, bring out Psalms uh, eighty three verse two. It's the Book of Psalms, chapter eighty three, verse two. Bring it out. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. So God has enemies, but they can't fight against God. But guess who they can come against? His children, which are the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are the Israelites. Read. And they that hate thee. They what? They that hate thee. They hate your guts. Understand that. Read. Have lifted up the head. Uh Uh-huh. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. They took crafty counsel against thy people. You know what? They passed laws against us. They passed laws to oppress us. Read. 
and consulted against thy hidden ones. We the hidden ones. We the ones that don't know our heritage, don't know our identity, don't know our nationality. Read. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Uh Uh-huh. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. And that's what our enemies did. All these nations have come together to cut off our name. Every single one of them know who we are because every single one we had history with. Every single one, our people went into slavery to these nations. So they know that we are the Israelites and they are all in it together. So don't think for one instant that any of them is your friends. Read. For they have consulted together with one consent. They actually formed a government. It's called the United Nations. This is what these nations did. Read. They are confederate against They're all against you. Read. The tabernacles of Edom. Now the Most High is letting you know who these nations are. The very first one on his hit list is the tabernacles of Edom. That is your so-called European. Uh That is your so-called white man. Read. Uh And the Ishmaelites. That's your Arabs. Read. Of Moab. That's your Chinese. The same man that shot down that little boy. He's a Moabite. Read. And the Hagarene. The Hagarenes are your Egyptians. Read. Gabal. Gabal is your Africans. And Ammon. Ammon is your uh, Japanese. Read. And Amalek. Amalek is the so-called man that's calling himself a Jew today. Read. The Philistines. That's more Africans. With the inhabitants of Tyree. More Africans. Read. Assur. That's your Assyrians. Also is joined with them. Go to verse 12. Verse 12. Who said, let us take to ourselves the houses of God in possession. Every single one took us in their possession. Every single one has us in captivity. Every single one is guilty of being the enemies of God and being the enemies of the Israelites. That is the reason why we're going through this today. Because why? We have enemies, and those enemies hate that we're the children of God. And one reason why all these things are going out is because why? We've forsaken the God that gave us power to rule the earth. Right. And these nations fear us. Give us that in Deuteronomy 28 and 10. Hey, matter of fact, start at verse 1. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 1. And it shall come to pass. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God Uh to observe and to do all his commandments, which I commanded thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Equal to all nations. Above all nations of the earth. That's a beautiful thing. The Most High put his children in rulership of this earth. And we was once Ruling this earth as kings. Right. That's right. And you know, when our people say we, we was kings and queens, da, 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 they don't know the history. But all they had to do is go back to King David, King Solomon, and they would realize that, hey, this is our legacy. This is our people. The greatest story ever written is our story. Right. Go down to verse 10. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 10. And all the people of the earth. Now, some of the people. And all the people of the earth. That's all these nations. Read. Shall see that thou art called by my by the name of the Lord. Uh huh. And they shall be afraid of thee. They'll be what? Afraid of thee. They gonna love us. They shall be afraid of thee. That hey, he was afraid of a six year old boy picking up a bike in his yard. Let that sink in. He wasn't afraid. This is what what he saw was a prince of the most high God that could potentially rule over him at some point. And he know that their, uh, their overall agenda is to get rid of the so-called black man in America. Right. That's why Donald Trump, well, who, who is that? They want to come up with this, uh, that's what's, what's his name? Bill Gates want to come up with this thing to block the earth. They want to, they, they want to, well, I don't know what these people, these people are crazy, man, but everything that you just read here in Deuteronomy 28 verse one, jumping over to verse uh, uh 10 shows us that, the chosen people that God chose, we are those people. And we were set above these people from the beginning. All right. But now what has happened? Mm-hmm. Look at us now. Right. Why is it that we got six year olds being shot down in the street? Give me that in Job chapter nine, nine and 24. Oh, because we no longer possess the earth. When right. we possess the earth, if we possess the earth, if we was woke as we claim and possess the earth, in this entirety, like we feel like we should, then these things wouldn't be taking place. But these things takes place because why? We broke the commandments of God and we went into servitude under these nations and now they rule over us. Read that in in, in Job. 
the book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24. Read it out. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Stop right there. Now go back to Deuteronomy chapter 20. What, what was you at? You pulled 28, 28. And, uh, and 1. Mm -hmm. Get that. Read 28 and 1 again. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. Read it out. And it shall come to pass if thou shalt hold on. If what? If thou, it shall come to pass what? If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. It says, if we had hearkened diligently to the Lord's voice. Come on. To observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So, we were to be set above all nations on the earth. Now go back to Job. It's the book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24. Read it out. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. But now the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. What happened? Right, right. What has happened? How did we have fallen? How did we hey, fall? Hey, but listen, you know, it's funny that you brought out that we are supposed to possess this earth. We have become the possessed. Right. Right? Give me uh, Zechariah, Zechariah 11 and 5. Now, we're, we're talking about being possessed, and we're being treated, and we will be treated any which way that Esau and these other nations decide to do it. Because, you know, we can't, in a case like this, we can't win. We don't get fair, fairness. We don't get justice. Because we, we're dealing with doggone moving goalposts. We'll never win. Give me that. It's the book of Zechariah, chapter 11, verse 5. Bring it out. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not they guilty. They hold themselves not guilty because they can fix the laws any way they want to. They can right. adjust the charge up. Or adjust the charge down. Now, when it comes now, if this was one of our shooting ourselves, oh, one of our own nation, they would have dug. I mean, we would have got the book thrown at us, a couple hundred thousand dollars bail, right? We'd be facing the the biggest bid, and we would have got the biggest bid, right? But when you're talking about these other doggone nations, the, you, what you talking about fit the crime? Nah, it doesn't apply. It does not apply. So when we see things like this here, it's like we can't win. But we but we should we just went through Deuteronomy 28. It's explaining to us why we can't win. Because this is something the most high put on us. Because we're stiff neck and rebellious and won't repent. So we're gonna continue to go through this stuff. Mm -hmm. We're gonna continue to go through it. Nothing new. Mm -hmm. So our Woo. people, we need to wake the heck up. Hey, finish out that verse. Book of Zechariah, chapter 11, verse 5. Bring it out. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich. And their own shepherds pity them not. Mm. Hey, mm. Check this out. Give me Habakkuk uh, 4 and 1. I mean, 1 and 4. Give me Habakkuk 1 and 4. Because it said, Who possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And that's what they do. And you know, we, back there where it says, and they that sell uh, sell them, those are our possessors. Those are the people who possess us. Right. Bring it out. The book of Habakkuk, chapter 1, verse 4. Bring it out. Therefore, the law is slacked. What? The law is slacked. So, not guilty. <laughs> that's what happens. <laughs> Sit there and say, hey, we're not guilty. It was self-defense. <laughs> exactly. Hey, he feared your, for his life in his house behind his doors. Behind his door Bruh. with a gun, locked doors. <laughs> Read. Hey, and he could and and he could say that with a straight face. Mm -hmm. Come on now, dog. He could say that with a straight face. Right. Read that again. The book of Habakkuk, chapter one, verse four. Read it out. Therefore, the law is slack, uh -huh. and judgment doth never go forth. Judgment what? Judgment doth never go forth. No justice, no peace. You ain't getting it. And guess what? You're going right back to sleep when you don't get it. Hey, perfect title. Perfect title. What's the title again? Let the people know what this title is. No justice, we sleep. We sleep. Because next week, this is going to be a distant memory. Next week, it'll be another victim. That too. And the week after that, another victim. If it ain't from them, it'll be from our own. And guess what? We'll keep going right back to sleep as if it never happened. Another holiday come back up, we'll be right back celebrating our oppressors' holidays. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Matter of fact, we got one coming up quick. And we'll see them dressed up in their red, white, and blue. Hey, screaming good old USA. Finish out that verse. The book of Habakkuk, chapter 1, verse 4. Read it out. Therefore, the law is slack, uh-huh. and judgments doth never go forth. Read. For the wicked doth compass about the righteous. Uh-huh. Therefore, wrong judgment proceeded. Wrong judgment proceeded. And you know, our people are quick to say, hey, you can't judge me. But guess what? They've been judging us, and they've been holding themselves not guilty. They've been holding us guilty at every little right they can find. You know no. what? You know what, though? They say we can't judge them, but what they don't understand is that the, your enemies that have been set up against you, they have been put in position to judge you for the most high. That's the reason we're going through this thing. Let me get a precept for what you just had mm-hmm. in Isaiah 59 and 12 real quick. Isaiah 59 and 12, because we're quick to say, oh, yeah, uh, only God can uh, pull Tupac, Tupac verse 1. Right. <laughs> Tupac. <laughs> the book of uh, Tupac, the book of uh, Nigelations, one verse one. No, you can't you judge me now, but the Bible clearly lets us and explains to us why we're being judged as we're being judged on earth today. Like the why the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Uh, read that Isaiah chapter fifty nine and verse twelve. The book of Isaiah chapter fifty nine and verse twelve. Read it out. For our transgressions are multiplied before thee. So this is one of the reasons these things happen to us. Our transgressions are multiplied before the Most High God. Read. And our sins testify against us. And our sins are, they, our, we, we can see ourselves in our sins, but you know what we'll say? We ain't, we ain't in sin. Read. For our transgressions are with us. Uh-huh. And as for our iniquities, we know them. We know the wrongdoings that we do. Read on. In transgressing and lying against the Lord and departing away from our God, speaking oppression and revolt. Conceiving the and uttering from the heart words of falsehood. These are the things that we're in. These are the transgressions we're in. Read on. And judgment and is what? T- and judgment. Now, because we're in these, because we're in these transgressions, when things like this pop off, come on, read it again. And judgment. And when judgment is passed down, come on, it's turned away backwards. Our justice is turned away backwards. Therefore, you get what? And Not guilty. Read on. And justice standeth afar off. Justice stand far off from the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We're not going to see justice. The only time we're going to get justice is when Christ returned back to this earth to redeem the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Until That's then, right. you're going to get a not guilty plea. Hey, ain't that the truth? Jump up to verse 7. Verse 7. The book of Isaiah chapter 59, verse 7. Read it out. Their feet run to evil. Their feet do what? Run to evil. That's all our enemies do is run to evil. Read. And they make haste to shed innocent blood. They do what? Make haste to shed innocent blood. That little six-year-old boy was what? Innocent blood. Read. Their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity. Uh Uh-huh. Wasting and destruction are in their path. That's all these enemies have done. They conquered. They destroyed. They stole. They raped. That's what's in their path. Read. The way of peace they know not. The way of what? The way of peace they know not. We steady seeking peace from a people that will not give it. Read. And there is no judgment. There's no what? There is no judgment in Uh their goings. There's no judgment. There's no righteous judgment from these people. Read. They have made them crooked paths. They did what? They have made them crooked paths. Uh Uh-huh. Whosoever goeth therein shall not know peace. Whoever follows their ways will not know peace. You're going to be walking in the way of sin. You're going to be walking in the way of wickedness. We got to stop following them. The Bible say, come out of their ways. Envy not the oppressor and choose none of their ways. Repent. We got to wake up. Read the next verse. Therefore is judgment far from us. It's what? Judgment is far from us. Hey, you're not going to get judgment from your enemies. You might as well stop seeking it. It's time that you clean up your own act. Clean up your own backyard. Sweep your own front door, as they say. That's right. Read. Neither does justice overtake us. Read. We wait for light. Uh Uh-huh. But behold obscurity. Read. For brightness, but we walk in darkness. Read. Read. We grope for the wall like the blind. We groping in the wall like the blind. We can't even see what's in front of us. Read. And we grope as if we had no eyes. Uh Uh-huh. We stumble at noonday as in the night. Read. We are in desolate places as dead men. We like dead men walking. 
The Walking Dead, that's us. Because we don't know where we're going, we don't know where we come from, and we don't even know how to get there. It's time we wake up. It's time we wake up. Hey, what's time for intermission? We're going to take a five-minute break, and we'll come back with you after this. Body sumo flow, if you bout your crown, kudos though, baby rap yo, town is the uno dose, uno dose, that is the uno dose, one two one two, big body sumo flow, if you bout your crown, kudos though, baby rap yo, town is the uno dose, the uno dose, that is the uno dose, one two one two, uh, the wind's changing is discernible, I left my gold bottoms at a sermon. Righteous king amongst you. This right hand confront you. A check or it can thump you. Whatever it gotta come to. Uh, perfect shot to the impossible angle. It's either have to have not and they not to be tangled. Damn, we shipped the nature sliding off them boats. And on the land, the finishing move was off the road. Woe to eat them for overeating. Selling sugar and bogus freedom and broken English. You proud of child. But we got them now, 144 uh, dial uh, wow, pin the uh, lock it down. Big body sumo flow, if you bout your crown, kudos dope, baby rap yo, town is the Uno dose, the Uno dose, that is the Uno dose. One two, one two, big body sumo flow. If you bout your crown, kudos dope, baby rap yo, town is the Uno dose, the Uno dose, that is the Uno dose. One two, one two. From now on, everything's flammable. A Hebrew man's a whole different animal. I had a lot of hate in my heart. I still do. Somebody that a lot of your face, I get you killed too. You can name a time and a place. I bring a grill through. Poop, return of the real Jews. I'm sick of bad raps and these dad hats. Hope the next drug they take me a bad batch. All my enemies is red, they some lab rats. When I die, flame emoji by my hashtag. Build my nation, Israel, put in legwork. Precept upon precept, till my head hurt. Big body, sumo flow. If you bout your ground, kudos dope. Baby rep, yo, town is the uno dose. The uno dose, that is the uno dose. One, two, one, two. Big body, sumo flow. If you bout your ground, kudos dope. Baby rep, yo, town is the uno dose. The uno dose, that is the uno dose. One, two, one, two. Uh, they been eyeing us, was I right or what? Never get high enough to try your luck. Uh. I threw a viral with a spiral Now it's all over the web with a spider touch Damn, we had power before we had weapons The world was ours before we had seconds Just a heart that hate tough and we stay under On the way, we on your ass like plate numbers Keeping the commandments Laws of a black Jew You don't understand it Cause ain't nobody ask you DMV, I'm Jai like Michael Jai White Woo! Black dynamite, all kind of strikes uh, Sun rising not surprising, bearded, fierce, black, pierced, bronzeman, cause we was bronzeman. Put my scripts like my face tape to it. Wait, I can't stop dripping great break fluid. Uh, living God, great and terrible, face unbearable. Listen to this parable. The Apple Watch ain't new, the tech been wearable. Weapons not carnal, I got better in the arsenal. 12. Hey, we're back here at Wartime Records. That song right there was 12 from Original Royalty Recordings. Make sure. I know you I know you want us to be big, but we what? just Wartime Radio. What I said? What I said? Wartime <laughs> Records. Oh, what I said? What I said? Wartime Records. Oh, I said Wartime Records. Come oh, on now, dog. Come on now. Hey, you know, hey, you know, future prophecy. Hey, but hey, go check that music out. It's uh, on Original Royalty Recordings. Uh, you can find that particular song on SoundCloud, all right? Make sure you go to OriginalRoyalty.com to check out all the truth music that we have out there. New album just released. And we're going to jump right back into this uh, segment of uh, the no lesson justice, today. No justice, no sleep. No justice, we sleep. Hey, give me some 78 and 5. Cause you, hey, we got to understand this. This was a child. And, you know, it's our responsibility to protect our children. A lot of times we think protection only means, you know, what a gun. Or going out here jumping on somebody who's messing with my child. But we got to train up our children in the way they should walk, how they should carry themselves, and how they should live. Because that's where we're failing our youth. 
We're failing our youth because we have yet to teach them the law, statute, and commandments. And that's the reason the reason why is because it wasn't taught to us. <laughs> so, hey, hey, read that. The book of Psalms, chapter 78, verse 5. Read it out. For he established a testimony in Jacob. Jacob is our forefather. Read. And appointed a law in Israel. As you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you do have laws. Read. Which he commanded our fathers that they should make them known to their children. We should make them known to who? To their children. If those laws would have been known to the, uh, shown to that little boy, he would have stayed away from his enemies. Hey, and you know something too, just to, just to interject here. You know, the thing that was kind of disturbing when the dude said, when the little boy said something about, well, he tried to come after uh, me with a sledgehammer, right? Oh, he couldn't catch me? Right. There's, there's a little bit more than that to hey. this story than what we're just seeing, you know. But that scripture you just brought out is great because, you know, we are supposed to be teaching our kids. And, and the wisdom that we impart to our kids will keep us away from foolishness like this. Right, because what, in reality, that kid thought it was a game. He thought it was a game. Yeah. He said he can't catch me. He had to dodge and plan. He didn't go warn. He didn't go tell his father. He didn't go tell his mother. He didn't go get help. Hey, because why? We don't teach our kids who the real enemy is. We out here telling them that the enemy looks just like them mm-hmm. instead of telling them who actually the enemy is. Right. Hey, continue on with the next verse. Book of Psalm, chapter 78, verse 6. Uh-huh. That the generation to come might know them, uh-huh. even the children which should be born. Read. Who should arise and declare them to their children. Read. That they might set their hope in God. They might set their hope in who? In God. No, into the enemy. That they might set their hope in God. And that's the biggest problem we have with our people. They don't set their hope in God. They say they believe in the Bible, they hold this book up, and then complain and whine when we bring out the laws they should follow. Read. And not forget the works of God. And not forget what? The works of God. If we understood the real God, that the God of Israel will understand the judgments that came on our forefathers for not keeping these laws. And we would have passed those laws on to our children to make sure that, hey, that evil doesn't come upon them. Read. But keep his commandments. But do what? But keep his commandments. Read. And might not be as their fathers, uh-huh. a stubborn and rebellious generation. What was our forefathers? A stubborn and rebellious generation. And what is our mothers and fathers today? A stubborn and rebellious generation. Read. A generation that set not their heart aright. Uh-huh. And whose spirit was not steadfast with God. Their, our spirits is not steadfast with God. We up in these churches every single week. Proclaiming that we love God And guess what We won't keep not one law We'll fight not to keep those laws And that's why we, Our people is catching hell all over this earth That's hey, why we're in the ghettos Hey wait a minute You listen to Clubhouse every night? Every night Oh goodness mm-hmm. Hey give me Isaiah 30 and 1 Isaiah 30 and 1 Because the, God said We are stubborn rebellious people And you know what Our people Hey they don't believe that they don't believe they're stubborn. They think they're righteous. They think they say. They think they uh, say by the Holy Spirit. You now, brothers shut don't. Your black Christian mouth. Uh huh. <laughs> I love when you play that. Hey, go ahead. The Book of Isaiah, chapter thirty, verse one. Bring it out. Woe to the rebellious children. You no, know, the word woe means destruction. Destruction to your rebellious children. Read. Saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me. They take counsel. From who? That take counsel, but not of me. So who are they taking counsel from? And who, that, who are they getting their information from? Because you know, God said we wise to do evil. So we watching our enemies. We getting our wisdom from our enemies. You know, just like you know, the Bible will tell you how, how old the earth actually is. And we'll jump straight to science and say the earth is millions of years old. No, bruh. it was a combustion, bro. And then, you know. There was a combustion in the air, and that created the waters and the stars and all that stuff. Big bang. Mm-hmm. Big and, bang. And they'll say, that's what science say. To the, hey, listen, that's a, key, that's a cold word for the white man. We evolved from monkeys. <laughs> that's, a, that's all it is. It's a cold word from the white man. They, we take our counsel from him. Right. Whatever he say goes. We done made him our God. Period. Read. 
and that cover with a covering, uh-huh. but not of my spirit. That's what we do. We don't we don't make the most highest covering. We don't cover ourselves with his laws. We don't use his wisdom. We don't walk in his paths. We sit there and follow whatever path the oppressor is going. We're going to follow that path. <laughs> we're going to follow it straight to our destruction. Because, you know, they put out videos telling us how to dress. They say, you know, men sagging their pants down below their butt. Our women, you know what? They take off the dresses, put on pants. Hey, they take off the pants and put on nothing. Mm-hmm. Come That's on what our now, dog. Do. That's what our people do. Read. That walk to go down into Egypt. They want to do what? To go down into Egypt. Right there, Egypt just symbolizes America. Hey, hey where, what happened in Egypt? We was in slavery. So what are we doing? We embracing our slave masters. Read. And have not asked at my mouth. Uh-huh. To strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh. That's what we do. We stri- we, hey, we live in the American dream right now. Hey, we embrace everything about America from um, Christmas, Halloween, 4th of July, you know, St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day. That's the Irish. And I see our people dressed in green. Hey, 4th of July, we in red, white, and blue. We waving flags. At the same time, they shooting us down in these streets. At the same time, they're shooting our children. They're going to be celebrating Juneteenth next week. Bruh. Read. And to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Uh Uh-huh. Read. Therefore, shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. It's going to be what? Be your shame. You know what? For you sitting there following Christianity, following white Jesus, that's going to be your shame. Because you had a chance to repent. You had a chance to come back to your true heritage, but you put your trust in being a so-called American. That's what you put your trust in. You put your trust in being a Democrat. You put your trust in being a Christian. You put your trust in anything and everything except for this Bible. And the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. <laughs> it's, it's, the, it's what? Your confusion. Right. That's what's going on. That's what's going on right now. Our confusion, our confusion, because our people confused. They don't know who they are. They lost. You had something you want to bring out, officer? I remember when the father said, I'm confused. I don't know how this could happen. Right. That's part of that confusion, trusting in the shadow of Egypt, which is America. Mm. That's it. Man, think about it. When you trust in confusion, you know what you lose? You lose your heritage. You mm. lose where you come from. You lose your God. You don't know what to do. When you ask them what color is Jesus, they lost in confusion. Talking about, brother, don't nobody know. So you got this big old Bible right here. You think the Bible didn't tell you what Jesus looked like? It told you what his people looked like. It told you uh, what his great-great-grandfather looked like. It's telling you these things, but our people are still confused. They can read something, and they don't want to understand that, hey, it's telling you that everybody's not the same. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. It's telling you that everyone is not the same. But we want to sit there and say, hey, we all equal. No, we're not all equal, black man. Black, Hispanic, Native Americans, get this in your head. You are not equal to everyone. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. Uh-huh. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Read. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. We what? The Lord thy God has chosen thee. We are a chosen people, a chosen generation. Read. To be a special people. To be no equal to everybody. To be a special people. You know, when something's special, you should cherish it. The Most High say, I cherish you. I love you. He chose us. Read. Unto himself. Unto himself. You know, he don't even want nobody else to have us. He said, hey, y'all my people. Read. Above all people. No, equal to all people. Above all people. That got to be a typo, brother. Is that is that what they're saying? Above all people. Ab- what it says. Read. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Wow. We are above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So let me ask you something. Should the people that's above all people, should they not carry themselves like they special? Of course not, unless they sleep. Should they not sit there and... Lift each other up and love one another as brothers and sisters. Absolutely. What's going on with our people? Have they forgotten how to love one another? Have they forgotten who they are? Have they forgotten that they are the children of the Most High God? Have they forgotten that God created them above all people? 
or they woke or they sleep. They ain't awake. They ain't awake. They must be dead sleep. And the Bible says it's what? It's high time that we wake up out of sleep. But guess what? Most high, he ain't forgetting his children because why? He's a God that says, vengeance is mine. That's and, right. Hey, and I love the fact that, you know what? My father want to avenge our forefathers. He want to avenge our people for the wrong that's been done to them. You got something you want to bring up? Yeah. Let me get First Corinthians, First Corinthians 15, verse 34. Oh, praise Because you. it's high time that we awake out of sleep, right? But our people need to know what we need to be awakened to. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 34, real quick. Somebody mm -hmm. get that for me. I got it. Mm -hmm. Awake to righteousness. Right. So it tells us we must awake to righteousness. We must awake to the righteousness of God. The righteousness of God is God's law, statutes, and commandments when we get Deuteronomy chapter 6. Read. And sin not. That's, the, that's another thing our people hate to do. We hate to, to come out of the sin that we're in. We love to be in the midst of sin. Most High God is telling us to awake out of sleep and awake to righteousness. Awake to his laws and stop sinning. Read. For some hath not the knowledge of God. Right. For some have not the knowledge of God. Read. I speak this to your shame. It's a shame not to have the knowledge of God. Give Malachi chapter 2. What is the knowledge of God that our people don't have and that are not being taught? Right. Malachi chapter 2. The book of Malachi chapter 2 and verse 7. Read it. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. It says the priest's lips, the elders, the leaders, the teachers of our, our society should keep knowledge. It says, for some have not the knowledge of God. I speak this to your shame. It's a shame not to have this knowledge. Read. And they should seek the law at his mouth. Our people should be seeking the law at our priests, our leaders, our elders' mouth. Read. For he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. Because he's ordained to be the messenger of the Lord of hosts. Last priest, so get Jeremiah chapter 50 real quick. Our people want justice. The Most High is saying we must repent in order to get that justice. Mm -hmm. We must repent and come back to God's laws. Get Jeremiah chapter 50. Let's see where justice resides at. Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse, start at verse 6. The book of Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 6. Mm -hmm. yeah. My people have been lost sheep. Go ahead. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. Right. The leaders have caused the Most High's chosen people to be lost and to go astray, to be away from the Most High God. That's what we've been reading the entire show so far. Read. They have turned them away on the mountains. Go ahead. They have gone from mountain to hill. Mm -hmm. They have forgotten their resting they place. They have forgotten their resting place. They have forgotten their heritage. They've gone from mountain to hill, nation to nation, kingdom to kingdom, captivity to captivity, and forgotten where their rest resides. Read. Verse 7. All that found them have devoured them. Every single nation that is our enemy has devoured us. Read. And their adversary said. Their enemies said that's your Moabites, your Edomites. Every nation that's outside of the nation of Israel is confederate with the destruction of our people and to keep us from our nationality. They are our enemies. Read. We offend not. They say we're not doing anything wrong. Read. Because they have sinned against the Lord. They, they understand that because we're in the midst of sin, that's why they can do whatever the hell they want to do to us without any recourse. Read. The habitation of justice. What? The habitation of justice. That's where justice resides at. When we stop sinning against the Most High God, we want justice. We need to wake up and keep his laws. Read. Even the Lord, the hope of their fathers. That is the hope of our fathers. We must come back to the hope of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Stop sinning and justice resides. We'll get that justice once we repent. Christ returns and puts us above these bastards. Hey, let me precept that with uh, Psalms uh, 106 verse 40. Book of Psalms, chapter 106 and verse 40. Read it out. Therefore was the wrath of the Lord kindled against his people. For what? For not keeping his law, statutes, and commandments. Read. In so much that he abhorred his own inheritance. And most high was pissed. He hated us. Because why? We was wicked, rebellious, and stubborn. And guess what? We still wicked, rebellious, and stubborn right now. Read. 
and he gave them into the hand of the heathen. Look around you. We are in their hands. We have to go to them in want of all things. We are in the hand of the heathen. Read. And they that hated them ruled over them. How do they feel about us? And they that hated them ruled over them. Get it in your head. You are not loved. You are not liked. You are hated. And guess what? The only true love you're going to find is amongst your own. Read. Their enemies also oppress them. What is our enemies doing? Also oppress them. We are getting oppressed every single day for not keeping the most high law, statute, and commandments. Read. And they were brought, and they were brought into subjection under their hand. We was brought into subjection. And what we gotta realize is that they this is this is by the hand of God. Right. This is being done by the hand of God. Let me get that in Joel chapter two real quick. Joel 2.27, because, yeah, all these things are happening to us, and you might be like, well, I pray and I ask God, and my child was a good child. No darn well your child was out there committing all manner of sin. No, he was in all type of abominations. But these things are happening to us because we continue to roll with sin. Read that. Joel chapter 2, verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. That's why all these things are happening to Israel. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Because God is in the midst of Israel. Come on. And that I am the Lord your God. He's our God. And none else. Come on. And my people shall never be ashamed. Now get that in Amos chapter uh, chapter 3. Get that in Amos chapter 3. Because he's in the midst of Israel. And these things are happening to us so that we can wake up. Teach our children, like you brought out earlier, officer, the laws, statutes, and commandments so that they can pass them down to their children. That's our job. But we don't want to do right. our job. We want to run after the other nations and they still shoot us down out their window with a little 22 and, or whatever the boy got shot with. Read. The book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 1. Read Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. So only you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are the only ones that God gave his law, statutes, and commandments to. You only have he known of all the families of the earth. Read. Therefore, I will punish you. Therefore what? I will punish you. No, he's going to punish Moab. Therefore, I will punish you. He's only going to punish the people that he gave the law, statutes, and commandments to to keep them. Read. For all your iniquities. So these things happen to us because of our iniquity, because of our sin. And we got to come out of that mentality. Hey, y'all, praise it, y'all, praise it. Hey, go to Baruch chapter 4, start at verse 10. Hey, there's a remedy. There's a solution. There's hope. It's coming. If y'all don't, if y'all don't know what's going on in the earth right now, hey, the 12 tribes are awakening up. That's They're waking right. up all over this earth. The greatest movement going on right now is the rise of the Israelites. Right. Hey, if you ain't if you ain't decided you're an Israelite yet, hey, you're gonna miss the boat. Uh -oh. <laughs> Read. It's the book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 10. Read it out. For I saw the captivity of my sons and daughters, uh -huh. which the everlasting brought upon them. So the most high brought this upon us for our wickedness. Read. With joy did I nourish them, uh -huh. but sent them away with weeping and mourning. It hurt the most high to send his children away. Read. Let no man rejoice over me. Uh -huh. oh. See, I'm a, I, you guarantee that the other nations are rejoicing at your fall. Read. A widow and forsaken of many, uh -huh. who for the sins of my children for, am... For the what? For the sins of my children uh -huh. am left desolate. Read. Because they departed from the law of God. What did we do? Departed from the law of God. Read. They knew not his statutes, uh -huh. nor walked in the ways of his commandments, Read. nor trod in the paths of discipline in his righteousness. That's what happened. That's why we failed, because we did not know the laws of God. We did not know the commandments. Jump to verse 24. 28. Bar Baruch chapter 4, verse 28. Read out. For as it was your mind to go astray from God, so being returned, seek him ten times more. Do what? Seek him 10 times more. Seek him 10 times more. Why? Jump down to verse 15. Verse 15 says, For he hath brought a nation upon them from far, uh -huh. a shameless nation, Read. and of a strange language, uh -huh. who neither reverence old man nor pitied child. Nor pitied what? Nor pitied child. They shot down that little boy. They had no pity. You understand that? They had no pity. All these things are happening to us 
because we departed from the laws of God. Right. It's the same thing we read over in Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse four, verse uh, 50. Same thing. Same exact thing. Hey, jump to verse 18. Verse 8, book, book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 18. For he that brought these plagues upon you um, will, de will deliver you from the hands of your enemies. He'll do what? Will deliver you from the hands of your enemies. That's all we have to do is remember that we have enemies. We got to remember that, hey, we have hope. And the hope is in God's laws, statutes, and commandments. The very thing that our pastors are telling us that we don't have to keep, but the very same things that Christ told you to do. We got to understand, we're either going to follow Christ or we're going to keep following these pastors. We're going to keep following these nations that despise and hate God. Because our true salvation is only lies within us. It's within us. If we want this whole thing to change, it's within us to do it. All we have to do is be obedient. Obedient and follow the laws and commandments. That's is that, right. Is that really that hard to do? It ain't that hard to do. It's just ne Negro mentality make it hard. Right, right. right? The Negro is a made man in America. Mm. Like what Bishop Yawasan said, the Negro is a made man in America. He was made. <laughs> and you know the thing is, Christianity is going to make sure our people stay asleep. That's right. their job. Right. That's their job, to make sure we stay asleep, not to know who we are, not to come back to who we're supposed to be. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, let's go to First Kings chapter 8, verse 46. The book of 1 Kings, chapter 8, verse 46. Bring it out. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not, Read. and thou be angry with them, uh -huh. and deliver them to the enemy. We was delivered to the enemy, read. So that they carry them away captives unto the land of the enemy far or near. That's the so-called black man, Hispanic man, Native American. We was carried to the land of our enemies, read. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves. Hey, it's time to remember who you are. It's time to remember that we are the Israelites. It's time to remember that we was given a heritage. We was given the law, statutes, and commandments, read. That's right. In the land, whether they were carried captives. And what? And repent. And do what? And repent. We must turn away from our sins. We must turn away from the ways that was taught to us. We got to turn away from the ways that have led to our destruction. Read. And make supplication unto thee. We got to make a heartfelt plea to the Most High God. Read. In the land of them that carried them captive, and saying. Saying what? We have sinned. We have to be humble and say we have sinned. We have to confess our sins. Read. And have done perversely. We've done what? Have done perversely. We've done perversely. The things that we're doing on this earth is perverse. The uh, fornication, the adultery, the murder, the thieves. The th no, we have done perversely. Read. We have committed wickedness. That's exactly what we've done. We've been committing wickedness amongst each other. We've done, done it uh, constantly among our own. We show too much hatred towards our own. We, we forsake our children. We forsake the mothers of our children. We forsaken God. We, hey, we gave up our God for a so-called white man that done nothing for us. Read. And so return unto thee with all their heart and with all their soul uh -huh. in the land of their enemies. Read. Which led them away captives. Uh -huh. And pray unto thee toward their land. And when we pray, we praying towards Jerusalem. That's our land. We got to uh, face the east and pray. Read. Which thou gavest unto their fathers, uh -huh. the city which thou hast chosen, Read. and the house which I have built for thy name. Read. Then hear, their, hear thou their prayer, uh -huh. and their supplication in heaven thy dwelling place, and maintain their cause. Read. And forgive thy people that have sinned against thee, uh -huh. and all their transgressions wherein they have transgressed against thee. And what? And give them compassion before them who carry them captive. Read. That they may have compassion on them. Read. For they be thy people. They be who? They be thy people. We the most highest people. They can't take that away from us. Read. And thine inheritance, uh -huh. which thou brought us forth out of Egypt, uh -huh. for the midst of the furnace of iron. And that's what's going to happen hey, in the future. And that future is here. And that future is now. It's time for us to wake up because the most high is calling us home. That's right. And with that, hey, this is Officer Yuanathan. And on my left, Officer Kalaya. And on my right, Officer Goliath. Hey, and our reader, Officer Yuanathan. Hey, we are your frontline soldiers of wartime radio. And with that, we say shalom. Repent. Shalom. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in to Wartime Radio Show. Follow us on all social media platforms at IUIC Columbia, South Carolina. 
Join our congregation every Saturday at 4 p.m. Located at 1823 Greg Street, Columbia, South Carolina. For more information, call us at 803-708-4861 at extension 237. Share our show with your friends and family. And thank you again for tuning in to Wartime Radio Show. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.